Welcome back to the channel, Eric here, and in this week's episode, we are filming one of the most unique townhouses in all of New York City. This is a three bedroom, two and a half bathroom, 3,500 square foot carriage house built in 1829 on land that was owned by the third vice president of the United States, Mr. Aaron Burr. This, in my opinion, is one of the most unique houses we've filmed on the channel. So if you're new here, make sure to subscribe. And with that, let's check this place out. And this property is currently in the market for just under $10 million. So starting out here on street level, this is a legal mixed use building. So it's live work and you have your entrance to your five car garage, what could be your home office, your den, whatever you want it to be. Look how massive this space is right off of the street. And like I mentioned, this is a fully gut renovation. This is one of the most unique builds I've seen in the whole city. We'll keep these shut for now. An apartment like this definitely attracts a lot of attention from the streets. It's 25 feet wide and this is your lower level. We have polished poured concrete here on the floors. 14 foot ceilings down here on this lower level and it's currently staged as a hangout den area and the main feature here on this lower level is your drop down fire pit from your backyard. Again, this space is currently being staged as a mixed use so you have your office area over here but you could have a five car garage in this space and I really like that flexibility. This is definitely for someone who is I'd say an artist, they work for themselves, they have a company. It's just a very functional space. The beauty of the sunken fire pit isn't only the aesthetic, but the functionality. Here you have sunlight that pours down into this lower level. Like again, I mentioned, this is a huge space. And this is just the lower level of this three-story townhouse. I also want to point out that you have this original brick here from when this structure was constructed in 1829 on land again that was owned by Aaron Burr. Pretty unique. So we're gonna head back out onto the street here. I wanna take a look at the facade of this house. As you can see, we are in the heart of the historic West Village and you can see all the brickwork has been done here. The windows have been replaced, even this new door here in the garage. So now we're gonna head into the actual house, off to the door here on the left. Entering in the apartment, I want you to look up. It's very unique. You can see all three levels of this carriage house with all the beams, all the wood, the original brick. It's just very, very tastefully done. From the entryway, we have your floating cast iron staircase going up all three floors, exposed brick to my left, white oak on the floors of the staircase, which leads up to your open concept kitchen, living room, dining room with three windows facing south, letting in all that sunlight. There's a lot to break down in this room, but I'm gonna have Blake pull back and just show the scale of this space. The first thing that hits you when you walk in here is the history. Now this place has been painstakingly renovated, giving it that historic with the tiniest touch of modern. And if you look up, that is the history. These are the original beams and floorboards of this carriage house from 1829. And then I love how you have that nice mix here with this white quartzite on this center island with that waterfall edge down to these wide plank white oak floors. And now I wanna point the shelves out. I love open shelving in the kitchen and these are actually beams from the structure that weren't able to be used anymore because they weren't structurally sound in the space. And they made a great use of them, restoring them here as this open concept shelf Again, backsplash here. You have the quartzite, deep set sink. I also love the stainless steel refrigerator over there in the corner. Everything flows very nicely together, which then leads into your living room space. Very cozy, minimal, and modest here. And in front is your dining room space. And if we pivot around here again, you see those beams which have been reused and utilized as shelving in the space. I love the creativity that goes into that. And then if you look up on the ceiling, we have track lighting that runs throughout. So you have that nice dramatic spot lighting. But the most unique feature aside from the lower level is the fact that your back door here, the entire wall opens up leading out to your open air terrace with that sunken fire pit wrapped in that steel, that nice black, actually I believe it's a forest green gunmetal steel, which you look down here, you've got a fire pit. Behind me you see all the original brickwork here from this carriage house. And let me just give you a sense of scale of this space. This is a huge back terrace. Seating here for eight, additional seating here. You even have an outdoor kitchen with a massive wolf grill. Could you imagine on a fall night, late October, coming down here, lighting a wood fire and just sitting out here with some marshmallows. Now, a lot of you are probably wondering, Eric, what about all these windows? Your neighbors are watching you. 
I just say you gotta invite them over for a cookout. This is a prime community building backyard space and I, I have no words for this place. Look how unique this is, that blend of something so modern and so thoughtful and new mixed with something so historic and original. Something interesting about this nano wall, this actually used to be all bricked off. And as you can see from this photo here, there's been so much work done on the space and actually we're gonna sit down with the listing agent, Steve, after the tour and he's gonna discuss everything that went into this renovation. But first, I wanna show you the very top floor here in this carriage house. If you look up, you have a skylight, and then if you look to my right, this is actually the primary bedroom, a wall of glass utilizing all that sunlight from the southern windows. We'll get to that in a second, but right off the staircase, this is the first bedroom, and it's currently staged as a nursery. You have a nice view of the back patio there, making your way back out into the hallway which connects to the other rooms we have off to the left. We'll go in here first. This is the second bedroom. Very decent sized room here, queen size bed. Again, view down below the patio. From this second bedroom here back onto the hallway, we have your communal bathroom right at the end here with the pocket door for saving space in the city. And I love this bathroom because you have this beautiful terracotta here on the walls and the floor with a steam shower. And even if you look up, you've got your skylight letting in some nice natural sunlight here in this bathroom. But the best room in the house we saved for the tour of the primary suite here at 29 Downing and just check out this room. You have your full glass wall open to the staircase to let all that sun in from your southern facing windows down through the whole space here. This is the largest bedroom in the house. So you have a king size bed. Again, just looking out, you have those red brick buildings across the street in the West Village. And in the primary bathroom, we have that pocket door saving space here in New York City. Feast your eyes on this place. We had the comb concrete on the walls, on the floors, with this raised platform with your beautiful Victoria and Albert soaking tub, perfectly framed with that red brick building across the street. If you look up, we even have a rainfall shower head. So your bathtub could serve as an open air shower. Again, you have those beams which have been reclaimed for shelving here in the bathroom, some nice open air shelving. And then you have the dual vanity here with the giant port window for your mirror here on the vanity. Everything about this is just so, so aesthetically done. So we're now sitting down and chatting with the listing agent, Steve. Steve, thank you for letting us tour your unique home. And Steve is an expert here in doing these rehab home renovation projects. So Steve, what do you look for when you do a project like this? So my partner, Alex Height and myself, we love these unique spaces. You find a lot of them in the West Village and Tribeca where you're gonna have fantastic bones and a lot that can be worked with. We look for fireplaces that are still working. Key thing here is that we wanna have great bones that we could really accentuate what's already there and then give it the condo feel so that we could take something that we might purchase for 2.1 and turn it to something that's worth five plus and scale that. A main thing that we look for is something that's not cookie cutter. We'll know right off the bat, it's a yes or a no. And that's something that us, the high team, bring to the table. So now we're in the lower level and I want you to walk us through what specifically has been done as far as the renovations. I mean, right off the bat here, the sunken fire pit. So the space we're standing in right now is zoned for a five car commercial garage which gives any end user the flexibility to be able to have this as a commercial space or they can convert it to residential. You'll see the fire pit that we have here. We had three options, one being a pool, two being a garden, or three being a fire pit. Uh, pool seemed to be a little bit too much high maintenance. The garden seemed too cliche. So we went with the fire pit because it's something that's not really as often seen while in these New York apartments. Steve, thank you for letting us tour your listing. Thanks if for you coming. Are, thank you, man. If you're looking to buy this place, the link is down below in the description. This is going to go very fast, but again, the team has a ton of other listings just like this one. And with that, we will see you in the next episode.